this is a set of co-wood countersinking drill bits and accessories. So what you get is a whole bunch of different sized countersinking drills and to work with them some accessories. And this here essentially will allow you to set the depth of any of these guys. So it's just a low friction bearing here. You put the drill bit through it, you set the appropriate height, and when it hits the wood, it'll start spinning and keep this drill from going any deeper. Um, 8 by 8 by 3, 8 by 8 by 2.4, 8 by 8 by 3.5, 8 by 8 by 2.8, 3.6. So you can see here that we're dealing with metric sizes, so you're going to have to convert that if you're using Imperial. So let's take a look at the smallest. So you can see that's a tiny little drill bit. And this is where these Allen keys come in. Because you'll want to set the depth of this guy depending on your screw. And so you simply loosen the guy and then you can adjust the depth of your drill bit. And so you could of course um, replace this drill bit if it gets dull or breaks or anything like that. It comes shipped with a little bit of tool oil to prevent rust, so you know, you'll want to be careful with that when you get it out. Um, and then you basically just have to pick the countersink that is appropriately sized for the head of your screw. So you can see here that these are exactly 90 degrees, and so your depth will change the width of the top of the hole, but essentially they're sized for the different drill bits here a little bit. Um, and so there is a little gauge right here you could sort of use to measure things by eye, or you can take this guy and put it in there. So let's um, tighten this guy up. So you'll notice on the other side there's another hole that you can put this guy into. And there's a small range of adjustment here, you know, it's a half inch or so range of adjustment. Typically you would want this to be mounted right in line with the top of that hole or maybe just slightly above it if you're trying to countersink the screw head below the surface. Um, and then you just have to find this screw hole here. So you line this up with the screw that doesn't have a grub screw in it. You'll probably have to start it by hand. And then once you have it in place, you can adjust this to where you want it. And use the Allen screw to set your depth. So now you're ready to go. You can chuck this up in a hand drill um, and it'll get pretty close to 90 or you can use a drill press. Um, let's go demonstrate that. All right, I initially have this set up for a half inch number eight screw here. So you can see, you know, it's, um, you know, the drill here is set just for the length of the screw. And so when you get done with this, you have the pilot hole and the hole for the head. And this is set a little deeper than the head of this drill, or this is set a little deeper than the head of the screw, so it's going to be sunk below the surface just a little bit. So you can see there, it's just slightly below the surface. Now I appreciate the fact that they have two slots in this guy. So one's how far up and down it's there, and the other is to adjust the grub screw that's holding your drill bit in. So without moving this guy off, you can adjust the grub screw and say, hey, I want to pull this out. We're going to be using a longer screw here. So say I go to a one inch screw, pull that just a little past the tip of the screw, then tighten that guy back down. Now in adjusting the length of the drill bit, keep in mind it has to be at least that long for the grub screw to get a hold of it. You know, so if you have a short drill bit and you're trying to make a really long screw hole, um, you're going to have to lengthen that screw hole with a different drill bit or replace this with a longer drill bit. So you know, here this guy has to be at least that far down before the grub screw can hold on to it. 
Now when I drilled this by hand, you might have noticed this hit at not exactly 90 degrees. It has some slop, it'll correct, but if you want to make sure you have a perfect 90 degree hole, use a drill press. You just have to be careful not to burn your wood by pushing down too hard. But there you can see I have my countersunk hole. Alright, so we have a good selection of sizes. They include three extra grub screws in case you drop out the grub, grub screw that is holding in your drill bit. Um, this guy here they only included one screw for. I think the end stop here is kind of the weak point in this set. They say zero friction. It's basically just two pieces of metal that will kind of rotate on each other. You saw with the drill press, if you push down hard, it will start putting friction on your wood and burning your wood. Uh, it wasn't a, a problem at all with the hand drill. You could see directly when it was, when it was tapping. Um, but you have to basically watch it with the drill press and don't actually put pressure down. As soon as this thing starts to lift up, that's when you want to pull your thing up. So use it as an indicator more than a hard stop. Um, but you know that's the difference between this and one with a, a fancy bearing that would cost more. So all in all, if you're looking for an inexpensive set of countersinks at various different sizes, this is not a bad option.